Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in strong support of this bill. The different, um, the uh, um, Asian longhorn beetle and emerald ash borers could actually devastate our Connecticut forests. It's very dangerous. It could also, because of the way that trees have to be taken down when they're infested, create a municipal issue in terms of costs. Uh, and particularly with the Asian longhorn beetle, it can devastate our maple sugaring industry here in our state. Um, I have a question for the proponent of the bill through you, Madam Chair. You may frame your question, Madam. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, ma Madam Speaker, I, I do apologize. Um, the, the Asian longhorn beetle, which has not been yet found in this state, but which devastated a lot of trees in Worcester, uh, the, that, the entry to Worcester was attributed to pallets being shipped to the area, with the pests actually being found from, from Asia. Um, I was wondering whether or not the Environment Committee had considered including some way to control shipment of pallets in their consideration of this, of this bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank, through you. Representative Arconte. Through you, Madam Speaker. Uh, no, we did not. Through you. Representative Zawistowski. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I hope that that might be considered at some point in the future. I, at one point, worked in Worcester, Massachusetts with some people. Um, there was an area there, it was called Scarborough Street, that's a, a lovely area filled with older homes, and the, the streets were lined with old maple trees. Once they found the Asian longhorn beetle, the only way that they could effectively deal with that was to cut down all the trees. And the whole neighborhood is, has changed. I would really hate to see that come to, the, to our state. So I do hope at some point in the future that we're able to address the whole pallet issue as well. Um, I, do, I do rise in support, as I mentioned, and I do urge our, my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to, to support this bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam. William Mark Fred